with this road battle looming. There below is Parkway Center and the borough of Brooklyn, where there's never a dull moment. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports, and thanks for joining us on this fine Thursday afternoon. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Brent Beard. David Aldrich will join us momentarily from the sidelines. D.A., take it away. Kevin, thanks very much. James Harden has led the league in points per game the last three seasons. And the Beard said, honestly, it's not even about me scoring. Teams are playing me for the pass. I just try to make the best play, and whether that's scoring or passing, every game is different. Kevin, back to you. D.A., he is dangerous in both facets. He's hard to stop. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Paul Millsap. And maybe it's shocking, maybe, yeah, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening lineup. Murray out there with Austin Rivers, then it's Porter, then there's Gordon, and it's Jokic in at the five. And for the Nets, Griffin is out there with Jordan, then it's Kyrie Irving, then it's Harden, and it's KD in at the three spot. Well, the outcome tonight, Greg, could come down to the big men up front. You know, versatility will be key. The front court that can be physical but also pass it, stretch the floor, will likely be the victor. Gordon, the pass to Murray. And here's Rivers. It's Jokic top of the key. 6 to shoot. Great D that time from Jordan. And so Griffin will bring it up for Brooklyn. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. Well, in that one, they just had everything working offensively. It's a lot of fun when you get into that kind of a groove. Yeah, I love watching that game and in particular their demeanor in their destruction in that game. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Brooklyn with the ball. Now Irving. A 17-point game for him in the win against Charlotte. He's passing another high point in that game. He made sure it wasn't all about him. He wanted to get his teammates involved. Now Murray following Durant's three-point attempt. Jokic, no good. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Griffin, no one around him. And again, it's the Nets missing. They are 0 for the game thus far. 0 of 4 here, still looking for their first mate. And Jordan sends it back. If there's one end of the floor that DJ takes seriously, it's the defensive end, and he loves to get up and reject those shots. Jokic, no good. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Outside Griffin. Tries a three. That's good, and it's KD with the assist. Well, that's a, a healthy make there after missing their first four shots. One of five, not what they wanted, but they're on the board. Outside, Porter. Down low. Jokic with the bucket. Jokic just got his second bucket. Porter Jr. moving the ball well. Nice to have a wing player help to be a facilitator. Brooklyn's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Harden the pass to Durant. And it's Jokic with the rebound. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. And the playmaking of Jokic, so incredible. Creating this inverted offense. Bones, for your money, does it matter what position your best playmaker occupies? I don't think so. And Jokic might be the secret sauce to that and proving that from the center position, much like Arvidas Sabonis and Vlade Divac before him, can impact and also frustrate opposing defenses because you can't stop the center from making these kind of plays. The 
first free throw is good. I think it's been kind of cool to watch Austin Rivers play under his dad, Doc, a shifty combo guard with fantastic skills. Rivers hits both of them. If you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Rivers against Irving. Outside Griffin. Out to KD. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Griffin. KD defines efficient catch and shoot players. Perfectly timed there. Great rhythm off the pass. Murray against Harden. Here's Jokic, and Jordan sends it back. Harden the pass to Griffin, and that one is good. Griffin's got five. Uh, Blake Griffin is still very, very strong, and that solid foundation and base is helping him on the inside. Murray against Harden. Murray outside. Left side, Gordon. Just five on the clock. And Jordan sends it back. They recover it. Oh, and here comes Kevin Durant all alone. How about those long strides, Durant? Quick in the open court and then right to the rim. And Murray's got the ball here for Denver. They trail by three. Pass to Jokic. to Murray. Griffin with the steal. Here's Irving. And he drops in the layup off the glass. You gotta stay in front of Kyrie Irving at all times. Yeah, I said it here from the sidelines. Try doing it out there on the floor. The Nuggets trail by five. Pass to Jokic. Looking to end the run. And it's good on the layup. He has six. Well, people try to be aggressive with Jokic, but it doesn't bother him much on that kind of possession. Brooklyn leading by three. Outside Irving. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Pass to Jokic. The eight-footer, and the bank shot is good. Such an outstanding effort there for the big man to stay focused with his shot. Jokic, tremendous concentration. Last outing for Denver, they won that game against the Boston Celtics. Murray against Harden. Lock at six. The pass to Griffin. Over Gordon. Griffin's shot is off. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. Here's Porter. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Porter in a comfortable place there. He likes the pass as being on target, and he stays perfect in rhythm with that jake. Brooklyn's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Pass to Harden. In the corner, it's Griffin. Off target with his three. Well, his shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. And here's Harden. 17 points for him last game against the Hornets in Charlotte. Yeah, but all around offensively, the performance was great. He knew when he had it going, but he also knew he could get other guys going. So his passing right up there on the level with his scoring in that one. And it's another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Greg, you were a feared ball hawk in your playing days, and I know you see similar players playing today. 
No doubt about that, uh, Kev. You know, Ben Simmons, a player at 6'10 with, with those hands, he's incredible to watch on that. How about Fred Van Vliet, though? He's a guy, they say he's 6'1. I don't know, but he gets into you and competes, man. And that's the beauty of our game. You know, you can be as big as the trees and, and have a major impact, or you can be one of those little fellas, as they like to call us, and be equally as effective on the floor. I like the Chris Balls, the Patrick Beverleys. There are a lot of those guys that play the, the ball like you did so well. Yeah, right. Great, great players. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Jordan. Green comes in for Blake Griffin. Harris is checked in for Kevin Durant. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Irving. And it's Green with the jam. And we'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night well you can tell they really want to increase this lead they can't keep letting them take it from them. now here's rivers in the game against boston very impressive and the foul on will barton that is his first foul of the game luavu is checked in for brooklyn and denver with a change here too dozier's checked in i'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more what a play Close games can boil down to who makes plays on defense, and that is one heck of a rejection right there. Here's Harris, currently averaging almost six points a game. Pass to Dinwiddie. Shoots. Rebound by the Nuggets. Their last game, a win against Boston, looking to carry it into this one. And, and you got to love a team that can maintain its composure on the road, take good shots, and knock them down with confidence. Well, awesome to see in that last game how the motion in their offense didn't stop because they were in some hostile territory. And the Nets with possession here. The Nuggets hitting the bucket. Harris passes to Dinwiddie. This tug of war game continues. And guys, that's lucky number seven already in this game. And Morris has got the ball here for Denver. They trail by one. McGee finds Morris. And he uses the glass on the layup. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Brooklyn's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Passes it to Dinwiddie. They kick it out to Green. Wide open. Can't hit that one. And Denver the other way now. Morris outside. Outside Millsap. And there's the pass to Barton. Green against Milson. Six on the shot clock. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And our third month into the season, things becoming a little more clear in the power rankings. You look at the Nets. They're stuck in the same spot, but still a top 10 team. And I think Denver, they're obviously trending in a positive direction, but still working out some of those early season timing issues. But I have to say, I like what I'm seeing. Now here is Harris. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Green kicks to Harris. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And the Nets lead by two. You talked about a back-and-forth game. This is the definition. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring-wise, keeping everybody on their toes. Here's Barton. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Celtics in Boston. Millsap trying to get open. Morris with the bucket. Morris has got it all tied up now for the Nuggets. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Here's Dinwiddie. 11 points for him in that last game against Charlotte. Pulls it up. Rebound by JaVale McGee. They hold the early advantage on the glass. Poked away. Oh, and here we go. Green's got it. The fast break chance. Here's Claxton. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. 
now. Here's Barton. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10 and a half points a game. Here's McGee. Another shot. Brooklyn with the rebound. Claxton's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Luwawu. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. There's a minute 34 left here in the opening quarter. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Barton against Dinwiddie. To the wing right side. Down to five on the shot clock. McGee. And here again, the Nets in transition. Up the court they go. Here is no good. Dozier passes to Millsap, and they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. That's a man's move from Millsap, getting the hoop plus the harm. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. Gordon's checked in for Will Barton. Falls for Paul Millsap. Well, Paul Millsap continues to work hard and, and continues to be an example of hard work paying off. Now, here's Dinwiddie. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. Harris kicks to Green. Dinwiddie wide open from outside off the mark. And already they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Here's Millsap. McGee trying to break free. And that one's good. Millsap. Millsap's got five. Well, the contact's certainly there, but Millsap just too big and too strong on those type of plays. Here's Dinwiddie. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. And they call an illegal screen here. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Denver in the lead. Here's Morris. He had 13 points in the win against the Celtics in Boston. Yeah, but all around offensively, the performance was great. He knew when he had it going, but he also knew he could get other guys going. So his passing right up there on the level with his scoring in that one. Three-pointer, and he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. Jokic firing on all cylinders for Denver. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And earlier we spoke with Kevin Durant about surviving the grind of an NBA season. How can we be the best version of ourselves individually every day? And how can we bring that together to make a, a great group? And I think that's, a, that's the focus every day. That's tough in itself. That's the pressure in itself is the getting up and being laser focused on what your job is every day. And I think a lot of guys in this locker room know how to, how to muster up that focus to you know, win basketball games. Well, Durant may not be the in-your-face type of player, Greg, but he gets the message across for sure. He's not going to yell at you. He's going to show you how it's done and expect that you're as committed to winning as he is. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. And from what we've been watching, guys, with the Nuggets, uh, what are you seeing out there? Hey, why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim? Yeah, that worked wonders for them in the quarter. We'll see what kind of adjustments get made. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. So out there for the Nuggets right now, we've got Aaron Gordon. JaVale McGee is out there with Paul Milson. Then there's Monte Morris, and it's Dozier in at the two. Here's Dinwiddie after the Nuggets pick up two. Sinks that one from the post. Here's Morris. 
and keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, guys, we all know that there are some people who dislike James Harden's style of play. They're bored watching him shoot free throws. He said, I see how teams guard me and find ways to exploit it. I just outthink the game, and I'm faulted for it. Kevin, that may be, but it's hard to argue with the results. Back to you. You're right, one of the top scorers in league history, David. Thanks for that report. Playing as a team so crucial. Let's see the NBA's best. Number one, the Nets. The beauty of watching this team is seeing the ball move around the court. It doesn't stick. That's why they're at the top of that list. The Nets shooting their first free throws of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Rager, the all-time assist leader for the Big West Conference in that frame. Talk about some of the traits that make for a, for a good floor general, a good point guard, a good facilitator. Yeah, I mean, listen, you, you have to be a leader because that's what the position calls for. Uh, unselfishness, instincts, that stuff matters. But ultimately, your, play, your teammates got to feel like you play for them. Uh, and, and that's when you have a team, a chance as a team to, to be special. I'm assuming you've always been like that. Am I correct? No, that oh, is not really? true. Wow. I evolved into a leader. In all seriousness, wow. you know, you, I, I think it, some guys are natural. Others, like myself, had to evolve into it. And so it's Brooklyn with it. The Nuggets getting the bucket. Here's KD. And the basket is good. Durant's got six. Yeah, it's been years and years of coaches trying to figure out how you stop Kevin Durant. Just so long, so agile, and too good. Now, here's Jokic. It's not going to go for him. One-on-one -on -one here. The wide-open look for Durant. Missed it, shooting 50% at three for six. Here's Porter. The rebound by KD. For Brooklyn, they've gone two or four shooting the ball here in the second. And Luwalu gets it to go. And Kyrie doing a good job of just setting everybody up, making sure there's a great pace and tempo to each possession offensively. Pass to Rivers. He kicks it to Gordon. Murray outside. Shot clock at six. Jokic passes to Murray. That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Well, buttery right there. A knockdown shooter from that area. Murray taking advantage of that opportunity. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Outside Durant. There's the triple. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Jokic has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Rivers. Here's Porter. And yes, it's good. Porter's got his second basket of the game. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Dinwiddie kicks to Griffin. Off target from outside. N not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. And when he first came into the league, Blake Griffin's dunking made headlines. And while I'm sure he enjoyed that, he was also eager to show that there was more to his game. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Jordan, he's checked in for Luwawu Cabarro. And it's James Harden in for Dinwiddie. One shot. And you know, Greg, in the past, Griffin felt at times criticized as being a one-dimensional player. I, I tell you, Kevin, I think he's answered those critics. You, you look at his passing and his development as a shooter, one of the more complete offensive players in the league. Now, here's Jokic. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Celtics in Boston. As passing another high point in that game, he made sure it wasn't all about him. He wanted to get his teammates involved. 
And, and that's a nice job defensively from Hart. I mean, he's capable of these kinds of plays when the guy is engaged and active. Harden against Murray. Harden with the defensive effort. Nets leading by four. Durant for three. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got three assists in the game. Murray with it. 14 points from him the last game against the Celtics in Boston. Lest us not forget about the work on the glass. His effort level was a 10 that night out of 10. And Jokic carrying that standard for a superstar big man. Uh, for your money, though, Bones, is he the best true center in the game? I don't think he's a true center in the sense, G.A., that you can't really go down to the post and have him create his own offense by scoring the basketball. Of course, he's going to create plays for his teammates. I still think A.D. holds that title right now. Free throw, good. Jokic. Well, it's interesting when Jokic was playing with Nurkic and they cleared the room for Jokic to take over at the center position. He's taken on that responsibility. He's taken on the star role. He's accepting it and excelling at it. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Harden against Murray. Durant down low. He's got nine. Count the basket. Good luck to any defender that draws the assignment on KD. He can really, at times, make you look silly out there. Pass to Jokic. Jokic draws the double. Shot clock at five. And Jordan sends it back. Hands with the ball out of bounds. Jordan touched it last. Martin's checked in for the Nuggets. And Denver Martin. decides to take their first time out here. Greg, too early to start talking about uh, MVP for this year or midseason. You know, we've gotten to a point now where we start talking MVP at the start of the season. You know, yeah, right. people just love to talk sports at this point, especially when it comes to the most prestigious individual awards out there. Uh, I think you can make a case and sway some opinions with your play this time of year. But uh, I like to let it all play out before I start focusing on that. Things can change in a hurry, can't they, in a season? You yes, like they you can. Like you say, let it play out. Well, that mid-range, Jay, usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. And that one drops for him. Irving's got the lead up to nine now for the Nets. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Harden against Murray. Right side, Porter. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got his fifth rebound in this one. Irving from long range. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Trying to find that consistency from distance that's stretching out the defense, and that's why Kyrie always has an available driving lane. Now here's Rivers. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. In the corner, Murray with it. Passes it to Jokic. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. Barton, no luck. Nets leading by 12. On the wing, Irving. Over Porter. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Irving's got 15 points. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Rivers passes to Jokic. Knocked loose. Stolen by Harden. And the call up against Jokic. That's his first foul. Denver making a switch here. Millsaps checked in. Here's Irving. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. Harden the pass to Durant. Top of the key. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. He's got 13. 
well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. And Kevin Durant, one of the greatest scorers to ever play. I mean, not the most prolific scorer, but perhaps the most talented. He's dangerous from any part of the floor. The Nuggets trail by 16. Rivers finds Murray. Back to Rivers. And the pass to Murray. And the foul on Harden. That's his first foul. And the Nets making a change here. Claxton's checked in. And Denver also making a switch. Morris is checked in for Jamal Murray. To the inside. They need this one. Jokic. Great D that time from Jordan. Greg, as scores go, Kevin Durant's as efficient as any. Uh, I mean, Durant has an insane field goal percentage for the shots that he takes. I mean, when you factor in how many threes he puts up, it gets even more impressive. Durant takes so many shots where he's covered and is still efficient. It's it just mind-blowing. Here's Morris. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. And let's now take a look at some of the numbers for Kyrie Irving. In the last five games, you can see the trend upwards for effective field goal percentage. And it shows you how confident he's playing right now. First one falls for him. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. Harris has checked in for Irving. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Back to Durant. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Durant's got 17 now. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Back to Morris. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Now let's take a look now at some of the most explosive players in the NBA lately. The highest scoring small forwards of the past month. Fourth, Kevin Durant. A lot of the NBA's most explosive players man that small forward position, and you're looking at a pretty good collection of them right there. I don't think in terms of offense there can be any more potent group of players in the league. Having one of them on the wing means having someone that can carry a team offensively for extended periods of time whenever necessary. Drops them both. Nets leading by 16. To the paint. Here's Claxton. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. And, and arguably no one in the NBA draws more attention than Hart. Part of why I think he creates so many opportunities for others. Now here is Morris. He's got eight. Dozier can't get it to go. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. Green, he's checked in for the Nets. Aaron Gordon, he's checking in for the Nuggets. Here's Harris, currently averaging almost six points a game. Pass to Harden. No good. Good work defensively by Millsap. Pass to McGee. Jumps up, and the slam dunk by McGee. Traditionally, that's how you want to finish the break, right at the rim. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. Here is Harris. Denver getting their last shot to go. He dishes it to Harden. Jordan kicks to Harden. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's Millsap. Left side, Gordon. 
But they recover it. Here's Morris, and it's blocked. Now Harris. Here's Claxton. Knocks it loose. We've got 155 left to play here in the half. Here's Barton. What a terrific move that was. Uh, we wasted absolutely no time getting the ball up the floor. Great instincts in transition. Nets leading by 16. And here's Harden. He's a player that you can only hope to slow down as he averages nearly 28 points a game. McGee with the block. And they'll keep possession. Five to shoot. Harden, that's good. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Gordon kicks to McGee. And there's the feed to Millsap. Passes to Gordon. McGee with it. Green left side. Harden outside. McGee with the block. It's green. There he goes. You don't want to be jumping on a play like that. No. Wow, he was up there, Kevin. <laughs> a constant threat around the rim. Gordon is an agile big who just throws it down with ease. Harris outside. Harden inside the three-point line. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Harden's got eight points. A much better quarter for them shooting the ball. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. There's the pass to Millsap. Barton outside. Pass to McGee. Six to shoot. It's Barton on the wing, guarded by Harris. Barton, no luck. Launches the three. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's Brooklyn with an 18-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. KD, you're running and gunning out there. How much fun is it when the offense is flowing like that? Well, I think um, you know, this team is uh, very well disciplined, and uh, they do all the details, and we just wanted to play harder, man. And I think we got some steals, got some fast break points, and we're playing together, everybody touching the ball. Uh, it's just fun when we're playing like that, so we got to continue to do that. KD, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. Kevin Durant was on fire in the first half. He ended up with 17 points, and as great as James Harden has been, his game has attracted its share of critics. They say flops or travels or that he dominates the ball. Jack, what do you think? Listen, haters gonna hate. He's playing at an all-time great level right now. Well, of course, the greats are judged not by what they do in the regular season, but what they do in the postseason. So, you know, to silence those critics, you gotta get that. Done. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half. Just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half and wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. 
And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. We've got Harden. Griffin is out there with DeAndre Jordan. Then there's Irving. And it's Durant in at the three spot. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Now, here is Harden. 18 points separating the teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. And Harden's such a creative scorer, especially when he gets in close to the basket. Here's Murray. Now, here's Jokic. Good for basket number six from him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12. Man, Jokic is making all kinds of plays here tonight. Very aggressive on the offensive end. Brooklyn leading by 18. Outside Irving, the dish to Harden. Jordan, the pass to Harden. Shoots a three. Kept alive. Second shot opportunity. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Now Jordan is a force on the inside. There's no denying that. A real problem right now for the defense. They're not shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. First free throw is good. Well, there is continuous energy in DeAndre Jordan's play, really hustling on both ends and influencing those plays with that activity. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. About one minute played here in the second half. Pass to Rivers. Back to Murray. And stolen by Jordan. And they're on the break. Here's Irving. And again, no good by Brooklyn. The Nuggets trail by 20. Rivers in the corner. And stolen by Jordan. Irving passes to Harden. The three from KD. That shot, no good. And it's Denver the other way. Right around a minute and a half. Played here in the third quarter. Here's Murray. Right side, Gordon. Brooklyn with the rebound. Well, you can't help but think of the dunk contest robbery with Aaron Gordon. Didn't receive max points on some of his dunks that clearly deserved it. Said he's done with the event after the last go. And I can't say I blame him. Rivers finds Gordon. Passes it to Murray. And that's collected by DeAndre Jordan. Jordan's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a solid offensive game to help them get this lead. That one goes. Count it. Six points for Jamal Murray. And with the dunk contest in Aaron Gordon, some of the dunks he pulled off, Greg, were outstanding. I mean, going over Taco Fall was the big one. Uh, the one-handed windmill was impressive as well. Gordon doesn't need a trophy. Everyone knows he's one of the best dunkers we've ever seen. Pops it up for Jordan. Very pretty alley-oop layup. I mean, he might as well pour a foundation and put some framework around that because that's where DeAndre Jordan lives on the offensive class. Now here's Rivers. Murray outside. And he gets the bucket. Murray's got eight points. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would have the lead. Here's Irving. 15 points in the game. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Outside, KD. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got his seventh assist in the game. Well, that equals his three-point total from the first half. He had one before the break, and that's his first three of this half. 
gives the team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the tent. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. The pass to Harden from deep. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Gordon. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. An underrated part, really, of being a sick athlete like Gordon, body control. Used it there to keep the form on his shot. For Denver, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. Dinwiddie is checked in for Brooklyn. One shot. On the free throw, no good. And there's no question that Gordon is a talented player, and it's clear he wants to be a star in this league. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Pass to Irving. Back to Dinwiddie. Shot clock at five. He can't get it to go. The Nuggets trail by 19. And Murray. Here we go. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And a story about Jamal Murray. He was doing two-a-days for Team Canada. And the coach wanted him to rest, you know, so he confiscates his sneakers. Came back and found him working out barefoot. Well, they might want to check his web browser because I believe he did a search for lock picks because they put bars on the door to keep him out of the gym. And he still might try to find a way in. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Jordan. Porter with the steal. And here's the fast break. Porter leading the way. Yeah, just using those long strides to just kind of knife through the teeth of the defense. Porter daring them to hit him on that one. This is his first free throw of the game. And Porter drops them both. And it's Irving with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Pass to Durant. Over Porter. The shot by KD. No good. The Nuggets trail by 15. Murray surveying the D. Dishes to Gordon. And it's Gordon finishing it off. I like that from Murray right there. When he's passing it like this, it can make him so much better and so much more open. Here's Irving. 15 points in the game. KD on the wing. Oh, Griffin in position. And the layup's good off the glass. Griffin's got seven points. And with that basket, he's able to end a 10-0 run by the Nuggets. Dinwiddie against Murray. Here's Gordon, and it's Gordon finishing it off. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding. Rising up off the ground. Nets leading by 13, and the foul on Jamal Murray. That's his first foul. The Nets making a switch here. Harris has checked in, and Denver also making a switch. Millsap's checked in. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. Dinwiddie with it. Pass to Irving. Pulls from the top of the key. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Feels like Kyrie locked in right now. No let up in his offensive attack, and he's hot. Murray against Griffin. Murray kicks to Jokic. The pass to Rivers. Lock at six. The tray. The rebound by the Nets. It's three on three on the fast break. Nobody near Irving. Off target from three-point range. The Nuggets trail by 15. Murray dishes to Millsap. And Millsap slams it in. And Millsap really getting up for that one. Love the aggressiveness. 
Now Irving. He's got 17. Here's Dinwiddie. Pass to Claxton. Kicks to Irving. The Nets need to get a shot off here. Claxton, no good. The Nuggets have gone 8 of 12 from the field since the beginning of the third. And a wide open look for Porter. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. A good decision making with the ball in his hands for Paul Millsap. That's a terrific feat. Brooklyn leading by 11. Harris outside. Pass to Claxton. Dinwiddie outside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. And really the defense fouling there to, to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. The Nets have been on target from the free throw line. They're 5 of 5 in that department. The first one falls. A different look for Denver. JaVale McGee's check in for Jokic. Will Barton comes in for Michael Porter. And Monte Morris subbed in for Rivers. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Murray outside. On the wing, Morris. He feeds it to Millsap. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Nets leading by 11. Here now is Dinwiddie. Six points for him. Irving for three. No points there, only his third miss in 10 attempts from the floor. But still, eventually you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down again. Morris outside, and it's Murray with the jam. Great focus from Murray, really sticking it to the D right there with the tough and one. <laughs> and if you're drawing up your starting five for team irrational confidence, Jamal Murray makes a strong case. This guy is fearless. One shot. And Murray, we know, can be streaky, Greg. Still mid-30% for his career from three-point range. Of course, the degree of difficulty pretty high on a lot of his shots off the bounce with the hand in his face and he's more than a shooter a, a versatile scorer who can get it done in a variety of ways and the first time out call to the game for Brooklyn and coach can't be happy and, and I think I know why their defense putting up no resistance inside no they're not preventing them from scoring and if you can get to a high efficiency shot on the floor and that's the paint you just keep going now here's Irving 17 points in the game Now here's Murray. Outside Millsap. Here's McGee. Again, the Nuggets score. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. It's the Nets now. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Passes it to Claxton. Back to Irving. Harris outside. Over to the left wing. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Claxton's got six. The Nuggets trail by eight. 
Morris looking over the floor. And it's denied. And that'll be Denver as it goes out of bounds. Nuggets retain possession. And it's out of bounds. And they say last touch by Griffin. A moment now to check out who's leading in the all-star voting. And a lot of fans and players interested to see how this thing all turns out. Look at Hart. He's currently at top in the Eastern Conference. He's got a lot of fans the world over. He's got plenty of fans among his fellow players as well. I'm sure he'd be number one on their ballots if they were voting. And we'll keep you posted as the voting continues. Irving can't get it to go. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Martin passes to Millsap. And here's Morris for three. It's hauled in by Claxton. And so it's Dinwiddie with it. He'll bring it up for the Nets. Eight-point game. Griffin's shot is off. They've been able to have some team success in this game despite what's been an awful shooting night for him. Murray, no good. The Nets shooting straight 49% from the field. Irving, good look. And the Nets miss again. And he's getting good looks on the floor, but he simply cannot bury anything right now. He's got to stay confident, though, because everyone knows he can hit those shots. Now, here is Morris. He's got eight. Now the pass to Murray. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And a chance here to take a look at the numbers for Kyrie Irving. Putting up about 18 points per, nine assists, and three rebounds. And it says a lot that when we see numbers like this from him, we aren't even shocked. He, he's that good. Yeah, we really have just grown to get used to his greatness, and that's the level for him that he's on right now. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Brooklyn. Harden comes in for Joe Harris. Now here's Dinwiddie. He's got six, puts one up from 19. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. McGee's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Murray, and it's Murray with the jam. Murray right now just on a roll, scoring at will on the offensive end. Fifty-eight seconds left to play in the third. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. And let's see some numbers here on Jamal Murray. This last month, he's been positively spectacular. 11th in assists, and with a top 20 ranking in field goal percentage, you put the ball in his hands, and he converts at a remarkable rate. And he really is the consummate playmaker, always keeping his head on a swivel, searching for the open man, completely unselfish basketball player. Now, here is Morris. Eight points for him. Just five to shoot. Here's McGee. That one, no good. And Brooklyn will come the other way. Out to the right wing. Here's Jokic. Buries the long-range jumper. Jokic has got 17. I, I swear Jokic is out there playing with the watch on because of the timing aspect of his game. The Nets with the lead. Outside Irving. From outside the arc, he can't hit that time. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Nets lead by one. Live from Brooklyn, New York, you're watching 2K Sports. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. 
And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Taking a look at the Nuggets, Bill Barton is out there with Monte Morris. And it's Nikola Jokic. Then there's Gordon. And it's McGee in at the four-man position. The drive by Jokic. Gets the bucket and the foul. It's going to be on DeAndre Jordan. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. Brooklyn trailing. Dinwiddie with it. And Brooklyn with another turnover here. And now, a chance to see what's coming up for the Nuggets. On Saturday, they'll face off against Ben Simmons and the Philadelphia 76ers. And then on Monday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the Portland Trailblazers. Now Morris. McGee, the pass to Gordon. That's good. He's five for nine. And with their hot shooting here in the second half, their field goal percentage over 50% now for the game. Pass to Harden. A three ball. Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Right side, Gordon. Banked in off the glass. And it's a six-point nugget lead. And what a turnaround from the first half. I mean, he's been incredible here in the second half. Pass to Harden. To end the run. And you know that's going to be goaltending, guys. So that's a free basket right there. Yeah, that's a tough call for the refs to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's, that's how they saw it. Porter's checked in for the Nuggets. Rivers comes in for Morris. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Barton kicks to Gordon. Back to Barton. That one doesn't drop. Dinwiddie with some nice G. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. And they're pushing it up. Here's Barton. Dinwiddie with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Nets. KD leading the charge. Well, KD, an awesome job there just sharing the rock with his teammates. And it's blocked by Jordan. And now the fast break, Irving with the ball. Harden has a wide open look. That one off the back iron and out. And so it's Jokic with the ball. He brings it up for the Nuggets. The lead is two. And then Gordon. With the dunk. I like that. Staying alert. Rivers keeping his head up to find the open man. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. And Harden with the stop. Big hops from the backcourt. Oh, absolutely. And maybe just what they need to get this game GA going in their direction. Defense has got to be better. Flat out effort was not there. And Denver has possession, following the bucket by the Nets. Rivers passes to Gordon. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. It's going to be on DeAndre Jordan. And the athleticism Gordon has poses so many problems for defenders, especially when he's looking to score from there. And he makes the first. Griffin's checked in for Kyrie Irving. And Denver also making a switch. Jamal Murray, he's checked in for Barton. And 
and both free throws good for Gordon. Nets trail by four. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Here's KD. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. KD's got 24. Murray outside. Count it and the foul. It's going to be on James Harden. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. One misses for Murray. And just a better job of getting to the line here in the second half. Didn't get there once in the first. Then when he shot is off. No, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Murray, no good. The defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. Now, here's Jokic. Takes a three. And another miss by Denver. And here we go. The fast break with Dinwiddie. To tie it up. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Jordan's got three assists now in this one. Nuggets have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. And it's Murray with the jam. Surprising quickness. Murray burying his head down and just sprinting to the rack. The Nets have gotten into a pretty good groove going six and ten here in the final quarter. Harden the pass to Durant. And he finishes nicely on the way. Durant's got the game tied up here for Brooklyn. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Brooklyn's gotten off to an 0-for-2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Harden finds Durant. Shot by Post, and it's Brooklyn scoring again. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. Denver calls timeout. And the league's preeminent practitioner of the step back three, James Harden, is as good as it gets. And you know, like the sky hook, an unguardable shot. And paired with his dribble drive, a two move torture chamber. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey guys, I was able to catch what Mike Malone said to his team. This is still a close game, and he told us, guys, we're not far away. We can still get this one. If we seize the moment, we can walk away with the win. Guys? A nice shot by Rivers. And thanks to that step back, Harden already the all-time leader in unassisted three-point shots. And not to mention four-point plays. And up until recently, teams built elaborate offenses to create their three-point looks. Harden the first to do it one-on-one -on -one with volume and efficiency. And here is KD following the three from Austin Rivers. Griffin. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. And the athleticism and size of Porter creates problems for the defense. Hard to guard without getting physical. And he knocks down the first one. And Porter drops them both. Nets trail by five. Pose KD. The quick look, no good that time. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Here's Dinwiddie. Passes it to Harden. 
and no good. The dry spell continuing for him. Porter against KD. Porter, no luck. And so Griffin will bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. They trail by seven. Harden's shot is good. It's not rocket science. At some point, the defense has to show more urgency getting back in transition. Now here's Murray. There's Porter with the three. But they'll get another chance. Stolen by Durant. They push it up for on three. Harden missing again. The Nuggets leading by five. And Porter, here we go. And finished off by Porter. And once Porter has some momentum behind him, boy, he just rides it to the basket. An exceptional dunker of the ball. Brooklyn's gone ice cold from three-point land 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Lobs it up for Jordan. Griffin can't get it to go in. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. First one falls for him. Irving's checked in for the Nets. Rivers hits both of them. And the Nets with possession here. Nine-point game. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Timeout called. The Nets, without question, Jamal Murray displaying his skills today. They got to be using this timeout to think about a personnel change or a game plan change to try to slow him down. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Aaron Gordon. And he's just been crushing it from the field tonight, Kevin. Whether it's been on open looks or with the guy draped all over him, he just hadn't missed much. With his percentage in the sky-high range, they've had no choice but to make him their number one option on every trip. There must be something about playing in a hostile environment that drives him. He is really fed off that. Jordan dishes to Griffin. Inside. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Free throw drops for KD. The amount of pressure Durant puts on his opponents, it's typical to see him among the leaders in free throw attempts. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Now here's Murray. The pass to Porter. Durant against Jokic. Shot clock at six. Back to Rivers from the arc. Goes back up with the clock winding down. And it's Gordon missing. Nets trail by seven. It's tipped. Jokic with the steal. Gordon up on top. Nice D from Griffin. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting it well here in the fourth quarter. 50%. Took him no time at all on that one. Durant has got 10 points in the quarter. And this has been relentless from KD here tonight. The defense has tried to adjust not once but several times and nothing working. Flat out taking the game over and there's no way. He's going to give it up. One shot. Free throw no good from Gordon. Brooklyn trailing. Pass to Durant. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? And here's Rivers. Murray outside. Pass to Jokic. Six to shoot. Back to Murray. 
That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Murray's got 25 points in the game. Murray fearless on that drive right there, not worried at all about the contact. Brooklyn's gone ice cold from three-point land, 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. To the paint, here's Dinwiddie, and a strong finish with two hands. And your point guard's got to be the catalyst. Great job getting to the tent. Well, Greg, he knows when they need a lift. Did you see how much air he had under him? Wow. Now here's Murray. Passes to Porter. Down to five on the shot clock. Great D that time from Durant. And so it's Durant with it. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Lobs it up for Jordan. Nice catch and finish on the alley-oop. Now just a three-point Denver lead. Now DeAndre Jordan has seen these moments before. Not usually the guy called upon, but man, delivering in a big spot. Murray, no good. Net shooting straight, 49% from the field. Here's Irving. Denver grabs the miss. Porter's got his fifth rebound in this one. And it's Murray that time on the assist by Jokic. Murray's got eight points here in this quarter. Jamal Murray wants it, and he got it. Timeout called the Nets. And starting to send guys to the line way more than they need to. Let's get some good position defense going here. That should be the emphasis and get away from the sloppy fouls. Durant down low. Guarded by Porter. Happy to put the team on his back, especially in the biggest of moments. Durant nails a huge shot. 149 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Gets the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Now, there's a lot of potential left in the tank for Jamal Murray. He's able to play both guard spots, but it's that sweet jump shot that has his teammates and the coaching staff salivating about where his ceiling is. Now here's Durant. KD draws the double. Trying his luck from deep. That shot by Griffin, no good. Well, you make strides to get back in the ball game, but an errant shot like that can definitely cost you any kind of momentum. Have to use better judgment there. Jacks up a three. Then what his shot is off. The Nuggets leading by five. Bob pass to Gordon. One fifteen left in the fourth quarter. This is a do-or-die possession. They have got to get points. Now you can't make any mistakes right here if you want to keep hope alive. Oh! Wow. Well, anyone questioning Durant's killer instinct can stop right now. Wow. Denver's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Murray outside. Oh, wow. Meeting the defense with a tenacious will to score. Murray giving you that effort. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assistant. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? And that's an intentional foul. the first one and that increases their lead to six and the second free throw no good a tough break there and I'm sure he would like to have had all of those but he's still able to pad the lead 30 seconds left here in the fourth quarter Now here's Murray. Six. 
Six on the shot clock. Quarter outside. Brooklyn with the rebound. For three, Durant. It's hauled in by Gordon. And so they foul intentionally. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. So the Nuggets win it. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. You know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Nicola, coach has talked about the growth of your leadership. What's gotten you to be more vocal? I just want to help my teammates. I think if they say something, they're going to listen to me. I just want to make them better, so I'm just going to do that. Well, it sounds like they're listening, man. I appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. See you next time.